Lego book to review for you guys. This is the brand new Lego Star Wars the Visual Dictionary, updated and expanded, with the exclusive uh, retro Luke Skywalker minifigure, which I'll take, clo- which I'll give you guys a closer look at later. But first, let's dive right into the book. Um, so taking a look at the front cover here, you can see this is where the pieces for the minifigure uh, are in, and you basically just take out the pieces and then you build the minifigure. I'll show you where you can take out the pieces um, once we start going inside the book. But you can see we've got a nice big picture of Boba Fett on the front there. And we've got the Microfighters Millennium Falcon, the Republic gunship, the ATRT, and the Coruscant police gunship. And then it has the title up across the top. They're all very shiny and silver and uh, very awesome looking. And then the back cover here shows uh, just a few little paragraphs here so you can just pause whenever you want to read any of this and of course some of the larger sets are going to have um, their own pages uh, but this retails for $21.99 in the US uh, which I think is a pretty good price and you can get it for cheaper on Amazon and of course it says Luke Skywalker minifigure is exclusive which it is similar to an older one but it's still exclusive so, uh, just going to see if I can move out a bit, move back a bit there so, uh, you can, so, I can, so you guys can see the whole page spread of, a, of the book. Uh, you guys back just a little tiny bit more. Uh, there we go. So, you can see right here we have our area where the minifigure parts are contained once you purchase the book. So you just open this, this little tape, piece of tape that you peel back, you open it up, take out the pieces, you build the main figure, and then you can close this back up like so, so you don't ruin anything. So it's just this nice blue part here. And then opening it up, you can see it's by Simon B. Croft and Jason Fry. And uh, here's the Ultimate Collector's view in there. We have the table of contents, very large, a lot of contents in here. Uh, you can see we have our introduction, which is several paragraphs here. And then we have just a few minifigure close-ups. And then this is what the uh, set uh, data boxes look like. Right there with the name, number, year, source, and pieces. Uh, piece count. Uh, so again, just a few minifigures right there. And then we start the timeline. So here's 1999 to 2003. 2004 through 2007 and the timeline is divided you can see between episode 1 to uh, actually, hold on. uh I'll show you how it's divided up when I get to the end just so you can see all the sections so uh, yep and then we got 2008 to 2011 after 2000 the end of two, 2010 it was the last year in the timeline of the old visual dictionary actually there was a version that went through 2009 a version that went through 2010 for the timeline uh, the copy that I have went through 2010. You can see that in 2011, and then 2012, 2013, 2014. What's interesting is a few of the summer 2014 sets are pictures here, such as the AT-AT, Star Destroyer, and uh, Cantina, and you can see the Sandcrawler there. Um, this is a really cool thing, the timeline. Uh, I really like that they're doing that with um, these books. So, uh, just taking a look at how it's divided up. So we have episode one, episode two, uh, Two, there's episode two, uh, episode three, episode four, episode five, episode six, and the expanded universe and the Clone Wars. So that's how that's divided up. Uh, seems like a pretty good way to divide it up. Um, so turning the page, we enter the prequel trilogy and the Clone Wars. Um, so you can see here we've got Anakin's page there. Guys, so there's Anakin's page, the pod racing page. I'm just gonna actually, you know, I'll zoom back out. I'm just gonna flip through this really quick. Obi Wan Kenobi, Jedi Order, Jedi Fleet. Like I just see all the different Jedi ships and such. And uh, another thing that you'll notice throughout the book, if I can find. 
large one, is the set history thing box, which will show um, previous versions of that vehicle or structure or whatever uh, that the Lego group has produced uh, previous to the most recent one, um, which I think is cool. So you can see Palpatine, Dooku, uh, other Sith like Darth Maul and such. Republic Army, so land vehicles, Republic Navy, so space vehicles, of course. Um, the gunship gets its own page, and on the sets that have their own pages, there's a data file which shows the name, year, number, piece count, source, and dimensions, and like how many minifigs it comes with, and stuff like that, which I think is really cool. But they give extra uh, info for these larger sets. And then some pages are like this, so here's the Clone Trooper page. Very nice um, there. And then the Separatist Army, uh, Battlefield Droids, which is like Droid Guns and Spider Droids and stuff like that. Uh, Separatist Navy. Uh, General Grievous gets his own page of stuff, which I think is really cool. We got Geonosians, very awesome. Uh, Naboo and Gungans, and then Umbarns and Mandalorians. So that's cool. Um, another one of those vertical or uh, hor or sideways pages for bounty hunters. So there's the bottom and the top of that. Um, those types of pages do make it harder to read a book because you have to like hold it weird. But yeah, got Cad Bane and some other outlaws. Uh, Anakin Skywalker, Fallen Jedi. This is a new page as well as plenty of other ones, but this is definitely a new page. It's just stuff from the end of episode three. And then we got the Wookiees. Original Trilogy and Expanded Universe is Chapter 2. So we got Luke. Uh, he has a page just like he did last time. Uh, Sandcrawler. Uh, it's not as big of a page as it used to have, but it's still got a page there. Um, and then Jedi in Hiding uh, is a new page. It's just got Yoda and Obi-Wan as far as the original trilogy goes. Then Han and Chewbacca get a page. The Ultimate Collector of Respawn and Falcon gets a page just like the uh, it didn't yield, and then there's things called brick facts, um, which are just fun facts about uh, the set that aren't like that um, aren't in the data file or the um, set history. So you can see we get an Emperor Palpatine page, there's a Chancellor Palpatine page, and now an Emperor Palpatine page. And then we have Darth Vader, of course. Uh, the Death Star gets its own page as usual. Uh, Imperial Army, you can see the new ATAT -AT right there. The new cantina was also in the um, beginning of the book. And then there's a the new do-back right there. I'm just going to point out stuff that... Has Sorry about that, guys. My camera just cut off. But um, as I was saying, some new unreleased stuff on this page. And then we have the Imperial Navy. Um, Star Destroyer, which this is the old Star Destroyer. The new Star Destroyer is... There's a bit of stuff up here. Um, there's a look at the interior. We didn't really get too good of a look at the interior, from what I can tell, from Toy Fair. So there's a little part of the interior. I thought that was a good thing for the picture of that. Um, Cloud City hasn't changed really. Uh, Rebel Alliance. Um, we got Echo Base has its own page, so basically most of the Hoth sets. And then Rebels on Hoth is a uh, different um, page for Hoth stuff. <clears throat> and then we have Jabba's page, which has the old Jabba's Palace, which is really cool. And then we have the new Jabba's Palace with the Rancor Pit, which is on one of those weird page things again. Yep. Yeah. And we got Java's sail barge with the skiff there. Um, we got Battle of Endor. Uh, basically all the Endor themed stuff. Um, and then we got the Ewok Village, which is obviously a new page. And this is a, new, a fairly new set. So definitely cool that they gave this its own page. I do like that. Then we have the Expanded Universe, so Yoda Chronicles, Force Unleashed, and Old Republic. Uh, yeah. And then we got Specialist Sets. Um, big Ultimate Collector of X-Wing picture there. We got the Planet Sets. Uh, series 1 through 4. Yes, 4 is in here, even though they never released in the US, which I think is unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, micro Fighters there. 
uh, many sets so of separatist forces, populations, and republic forces. And then here they have rubble craft, bounty hunter craft, uh, double pack sets, and imperial vehicles. And then we got Lego Technic, uh, Star Wars stuff, which is a pretty old thing that they haven't done in a while. Uh, here's the beginning, here's the old Ultimate Collector stuff. New ultimate, uh, not, uh, somewhat newer Ultimate Collector stuff. So this is like the first Ultimate Collector stuff and gets a little bit newer. And then this is the newest stuff there. Um, all the way up through. Well, yeah. Uh, Red by X-Wing, which is the farthest it really should be going. Um, see, it's the same color and Ewok Village, which are direct customer sets. Um, I have their own pages anyway. Uh, so advent calendars um, are on this page, and then beyond, I feel like there's more. Um, beyond the brick, um, this is a really cool chapter. It always had, it was in the other book too. Uh, designing Lego Star Wars, and then designing the exclusive minifigure is this column here. We got merchandise, so we got Mac get uh, keychains, bag charms, watches, magnets, and key lights. Um, some cool stuff there. And the giant uh, life size X wing. They kept that put together. Um, um, let's see. So then we got uh, some promotional, older promotional minifigures up here. Then we got some um, Comic Con exclusive sets, which were the uh, precursors to the Micro Fighters line. Um, New York Toy Fair exclusives as well. Fan creations. Uh, we got some stuff that was in the old book, and then some stuff that's not in the old book. We got video games and uh, TV specials stuff, which I think is really cool. Um, yeah. And then we got the minifigure gallery, which is new um, as far as the Star Wars books go. They had one in the Batman Visual Dictionary. But you can see here, it uh, just goes through. I'll just give you a quick look at this page spread. Every Star Wars minifigure ever made, every variant of every character. Uh, so we got the minifigure gallery there. Okay, so we got the first two pages here. Two more pages. You can see how many minifigures there are. Two more pages. I haven't counted all of them. Uh, two more pages. Two more pages. And then finally, two more pages. And then it does include the minifigures from the Cantina, the Star Store, and the at, -AT and the Sand Crawler, which is really cool. I'm surprised that Darth Revan isn't in this, but oh well. Kind of just a minor nitpick there, but yeah. And then after this, we have the set index, which shows, uh, which talks about, which like just shows the um, names and numbers of each set, and then what pages it was listed on. So, for example, the um, Palpatine's arrest 9526 was mentioned on pages 17, 22, 26, and 54. Just as an example, then you can see the acknowledgments page here. And then just blank page there, and such. Um, yeah. And then, and then we're back to the back cover, and back to the front cover. So, uh, yeah, guys, there is the book. Really awesome book. It's probably a long review, but whatever. Let's take a look at Retro Luke Skywalker. Okay, so here is your exclusive Luke Skywalker minifigure. Uh, now, you might be thinking, isn't this the exact same as the, uh, the uh, one from the 1999 and 2004 sets? Um, well, basically, from the early LEGO Star Wars sets, it's not. Um, I'll uh, do a comparison later in the video, but this part, the leg wraps are different. Uh, the buckle and the middle of the belt is somewhat different. The wrinkles are different. Sure the little dots right there are different. The biggest difference is that this one is back printing. Whereas the old one didn't, they didn't really do back printing back then. Um, let's see, some very nice back printing there. So uh, let's compare this to the original 1999. So uh, here he is next to the old minifigure. You can see the old one is on the left and the new one's on the right. Uh, you can see here um, the belt buckle differences, the uh, leg wrap differences. Um, actually,
actually just the lights in general are totally different. And the uh, differences in like the dots and stuff. Um, and the wrinkles. A lot of the printing is more bold on this newer version. Faces are the same, hair is the same. And the back is of course totally different. Um, of course, this one has that head type. The black Locked, open, stud. That's the old one with the blocked open stud, and then this one, of course, has the indented stud. It's totally uh, not open at all. But anyway, guys, here is the Luke uh, Skywalker minifigure. Let's get back to the final verdict for this book. So overall, guys, I think this is probably the best. Uh, Lego reference book I've ever had. Um, the minifigure, while it's just an updated version of an old, very old minifigure, it's still very nice for those who don't have, especially for those who don't have the original one. And the book, uh, just with all the amazing new sections in it and stuff, just all the new stuff in it, uh, definitely a great update on the last five years. I mean, like, plant sets and micro fighters, that, that's a totally new section, seasonal stuff. Um, a lot of the stuff is new, minifigure gallery is new, set index is new, of course a lot of these different pages are new as well. So I mean, definitely pick up this book, um, $21, uh, definitely would be worth $21, um, so I definitely recommend picking it up, and you can find it for cheaper on uh, Amazon, I think it's like more like $17 there, so um, I definitely recommend picking up this book, and uh, <clears throat> thanks for watching, and I'll see you.